yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and don't open it yet. Don't open it yet. Jesus Christ, he's last, time, last time I checked, this guy wasn't my dad. <laughs> Do you want to check it again? Because last time I checked, I. <laughs> Welcome back to Give It A Shot, and there's some craziness going on here at the uh, beer table because we're, t- we're almost trying to drink the beer before we do a review on it. I beer. know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to stop people, but apparently I'm not people's dad, so stop them from trying to drink the beer that won't be a review. He's not my dad. Beer. So what we got here is Whitmer <laughs> Brothers Drifter Pill Ale. And uh, so if you haven't seen this before, then uh, then uh, watch this beer review because we're going to let you know what we think of it. So the alcohol by volume was only 5.66. 5.6. Yeah. Uh, yeah what about the IBUs? It is 50. 50 IBUs. So here's what the bottle looks like so you can make sure that you uh, find the same thing that we're talking about here in the grocery store. Bam. And we we totally to... forgot to do that last video. That's fine. Okay. We'll figure it out. And bottle cap. Yeah. Apparently, this is a Well, oh, so we're gonna find this all the time. Yeah, huh? so it's pretty much uh, anytime we uh, featuring Summit and Nelson Hops, Drifted Pale, Burst with Citrusy, and Free Hop Pill. Caramel Malts, out of Delta Free, and Mildly Sweet Bottom. Citrusy and Smooth Drifted Pale is a perfect anytime pill. Deliciously, a drink up all Drifting is perfect anytime time for Is that what it says in the top? Yeah, it was a little bit. It was almost I, like uh, <laughs> it was almost word for word what you were reading there. But mine just kind of changed a little bit. See, it said uh, deliciously drinkable. Drifter is the perfect anytime pale ale. So cool. let's Got do. It. That's right, <laughs> creepy guy. All right. Um, so I guess we're gonna get the. the Galley cam. Yeah, so this is a galaxy cam. Galaxy cam. Poor job. <laughs> poor job. The poor job. Is that broken? Sorry, the audio. Oh. No. I mean, it looked broken. Uh, no? No, no. I hope not. Yeah. So, <laughs> bottle of, broke the the bottle. bottle of oh, we are we are drinking too, by the way, with uh, with my brother's glasses. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it's going to. Uh... Mm-hmm. I did. Nice golden looking. Um, didn't Bill Hempel say like uh, pails are meant for taller glasses so you can like visually see it beautifully? Yeah, I, and and man, these glasses, they they do it justice. That's for sure. Because look, yeah. at, you can really see carbonation oh, going my, on. That does look beautiful. That looks crazy. I mean, we got some yeah. some serious lights going on, but that is the perfect amount of head for this glass. And look at the carbon. I mean, from my point of view, the, the the bubbles are just flying straight up from bottom to the top, and that looks really nice. You see that? That is called it's a like uh, commercial right there. Yeah, that's called a perfect pour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, do you want me to do yours? <laughs> I could do yours. Let's we'll see if yeah. Jesus can do his own. Yeah, go for it, Jesus, and see if you can do as good as pour as I did. Pour challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice music there. Yeah. Did you like it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? No, no, get aggressive with it. Get jiggy with it. <laughs> Gotta get swifty. Swifty. Swift. So, look at that carbonation is going. I mean, the carbonation is yeah. just crazy. Yeah, it is. Very beautiful looking. If I can get the light. Oh, yeah. So, when I get the light behind it, so move your hand out of the way a little bit, Hazel, so I can see the glass more. Look at oh, that. Oh, jeez. That is crazy. That. I mean, he doesn't have the same amount of head on there, but wow, the carbonation is That's just nuts. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to pour mine. You want to be the oh, camera man? Yeah, I guess I can hold that. Let's see if Chris. Poor challenge from Chris. Poor challenge. With big fat thumbs. Hey! <laughs> fat finger, not a fat thumb. 
get right. <laughs> You're gonna insult me, insult me right. <laughs> Move your big fat fingers. <laughs> See a steam? That's not for a second. Oh shit! Oh boy! Oh! 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 Hell! <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> wow! Oh boy! Fail! Oh god! All right. Well, it still looks sexy, but yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. Sorry. Yeah, it doesn't look as good. Uh, I mean, oh, okay, well. It still looks, it's nice, crisp. I'll drink it. And clear. <laughs> I'll drink well, it, of course. Of course. <laughs> nice, crisp, and clear. Chris, how do you feel about that pour there, buddy? I, 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 a little early. <laughs> okay. I prematurely combusted. There's that. Uh, it wasn't what I expected. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Mine's already dead anyways. Okay. What do we? What do we? Uh, smell, feel, and yeah. smell her, feel her, and well, and drink her. <laughs> I don't smell a whole lot. Where do you pop the tops? What's going to do? So it. What I'm getting is, I'm a little underwhelmed by the, the, the odor, like it doesn't smell like the super crisp, clean water um, goodness that I get from some of the other beers. Maybe it's because it's a little old. I don't know. I don't know how fresh these bottles yeah, are. It should be bottoms. Should be fairly I know, but uh, they could have been sitting on the, on the shelf for quite a while. They're, yeah. I don't know what the due date is on the bottom or whatever, but it doesn't, to me it doesn't smell. Oh, this, so, oh, it's kind of bad. Yeah, it doesn't smell super, super fresh. So... So is it like uh, like like most beers I've smelt before? They smell like they're old. Smell. Is that the smell we're going for? I, that's what I'm smelling now. It's not what I'm going for. No. It's what I'm smelling. I smell it fine because there's been some times where I smell no, beers and they smell like old tap water. But I taste them. It's like ooh, that tastes. Well, don't get me wrong. I don't think it smells bad. I can't smell it really. Oh, it smells uh, like on the bottom. Yeah, I don't don't. I don't think it smells horrible. There's no. there's nothing wrong, but. Does it smell like it's um, like it was brewed this month? No. Oh no no. Yeah, so it smells old to me. So it's like uh, if somebody was to make a cake and that day you smell it, you're like, oh, it's good. good. Yeah. And then like a month later, like cake. you can still eat it, yeah. but it doesn't smell good. Oh, yeah. yeah. So so then, that's yeah. it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, do I smell a little bit of hops and things like that? Kind of. Yeah. We're not. Our glasses are good for it, but they're not right. really meant for smelling. But <laughs> the one time you said it's all I smell is hand. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, what I, what the hell did I? You were joking. Uh, like, I was like, you know what? But right, uh, yeah, when I do that, I just kind of smell my hand. You gotta do the uh, <laughs> remember, remember do the the, the dog. <laughs> like a dog, you gotta you gotta you gotta puff at it. Make make sure you don't get your your nose snot inside of it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to smell me. I, I know. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Jesus? All right, what do you smell? I, I definitely smell pale. It's it's a pale. Uh, you just It's very, very light. Yeah. And I, I kind of agree with Chris. I think that's where Chris I, is getting at. It's like kinda, it's a light yeah, smell to it's, it. It's not like too, it's not like, like he said, it wasn't brewed this month. So. Yeah. It doesn't smell bad. No, it just, it's just okay. very light. You, know, you can tell. Oh, who did not finish their beer? That might have been Oh, me. that was you. Okay. Because there was so much head, remember? Yeah. I put okay. ours over here. <laughs> Damn the consequences. So, I guess well, the consequences you don't get your entire beer. <laughs> Unless you wait afterwards. Look at look at all the head I got. Yeah, it's, it's, woo, cheers. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. All right. <laughs> a little covered in some I got a lot of head. Ooh. Well, the taste that makes up nice. for the for the lack of the odor. Yeah. Wow. It is nice and crisp and clear. Yep. So it's on. It's filtered. Yeah, it's filtered. But the taste to it, it's like, it's a pale, but it's not as. Um, it's not. It's not as paley over, as you're gonna get with the scales. It's from, not bitter. Maybe? Yeah, it's, well, I was gonna say it's for me. It's not overpowering. Like I've had some pale ales and I've had some IPAs and stuff like that, and this isn't overpowering. It's stone. Yes. If Stone was to do a pale ale, this is what I would assume that it would taste like. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is. 
it's got a, a it, to me it has like a, a golden flavors of the beer the, the wheat is in there the there's 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 a sweetie malts there's enough bitterness that somehow counters the, to, the so it doesn't get too sweet and uh, it does taste it tastes more more fresh and and clean than it smelled I imagine if it was f absolutely fresh that the smell would be there to to accommodate that oh, yeah, flavor absolutely. and it might even taste even better if oh, it was like a month old but uh, or less we got this a little late but man it still tastes great it's, that's kind of that's kind of uh, wondering about it though because I know some beers they they, they age better with yeah so I don't, I don't what, think I don't think they, they, they do with beer. pails I think I no. think when you double a, um, when you when you have a beer and you double it or triple it or quad it you can age those you can't really age just a pail. I don't think that you can pay yeah. it just an IPA. Yeah. I don't. I think they don't fare well at, over time. Um, but when you do the process of, of having a double or a triple or a quad, it's a little different. Well, gentlemen, let's see what it tastes like with some salty. Yeah. Some Snyder's. Sediments in our, We're all in our done mouth. cheating on Snyder's with our our, our uh, non-Snyder's pretzels lately. So we're, they don't we're, add up. we're back to the <laughs> we're, we're we're going back to the original. Yeah, it's almost like you know you had this you know girlfriend that was like the best, then you know she goes and cheats on you, you know, bitch. <laughs> so you're like whatever, man. I'll, I can find people. I can find people. <laughs> Nobody matches it. Nobody ma Nobody matches it, Jesus. <laughs> Dude, Phil. How about the next? <laughs> <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> we gotta talk about something, man. Come on. Okay. Get the salty snacks in our mouth. What do you think about that, Ludo? Sitting with too. the big boys while we're drinking a beer. You don't yep. get none. So is this intermission? Ludo cam time? Ludo. Trying to get people to pay attention to what we're doing. Ludo cam. We tried to give him a pretzel last time. He he finally gave up and was like, alright. I'll yeah, eat it. Eat a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Eat a bit. But it's not his favorite thing. Adorable. Okay. You guys ready? Got some saltiness in your mouths. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I want more, but I'll, I'll drink the beer instead. <laughs> ready? You can have more later, Chris. All right, so let's give it a seriously second taste. Second taste. Ready? Go, 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 go. Bitterness comes in a little bit more, which is along with the flavor. Nice and palish taste. This is a delicious beer. It is. Yeah, yeah. That I get a nice. I get a, a, a better aftertaste this time. Yeah. This is wow. Wilmer Brothers, you do not disappoint. It's a nice flavor. This when I, when I think of. Like I want a nice beer. Either I'm 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 thinking of three different things. I'm thinking of this flavor, or I'm thinking of something with a little bit more kick to it on purpose, like a triple, like from mm. from from uh, Belgium triple, mm. or, or I'm thinking of something with that uh, when you go into quads, they introduce those, um, you know, you you can you you can get berry flavors and things like that, um, you know, like like dried dried fruit or something like that, and then of course then you have got your porters. But when I'm thinking of, of, of something that is just, I want beer. I'm thinking of this. A lot of other people find that flavor. I just want beer in Coors and Budweiser. I would prefer it to be this because this is a this is a mild beer flavor, but at the same time, way up higher than a couple notches more of that same flavor than say than than Budweiser gives. This is higher than that. Like Budweiser is considered lager, right? It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is. This is, but this pale is pale. Is uh, well, actually, a pale ale is considered part of the lager family. Right. But it is tastier. It mm -hmm. has like well, like you were saying, it has more notes to it than what your traditional. Um, I don't want to say. Light I like beer. how you said that. It's got more notes to it. Yeah. yeah. Pales have a lot of notes to it. Yeah, it tastes. Yeah. It tastes a lot. Of, this is a. This is the epitome of a pale ale. This is what everybody was coveting. Yeah. It's <laughs> this, like, dude, this is delicious. This is what it you is. want. It is. Yeah. It's very delicious. You get your 
sips and so we can down it. Yeah, I like that. Get the full effect of the taste buds over our Man. taste buds. The full effect of our taste buds over our taste buds. <laughs> <laughs> That's the science of it, damn it. <laughs> yeah. You know it. I know it. Ah, come on. <laughs> I really like the the, the, the carbonation. Windmere Brothers really made it so that... Look, there's, at, look at that. There's very... very well, well, we're drinking it in a Windmere Brothers glass. Yeah, for there's one. very few Windmere Brothers beers that I dislike. Yeah. There's a few of them I, ha- I say, hey, guys, why the hell did you do that? <laughs> that was a little strong. <laughs> but... <laughs> But they, I'm um, not that, that. I guess I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mature remember. enough to drink your beer. I've, you know, I've never had much from them. Just the uh, Hefeweizen. Yeah. That's a really good beer. It is. I, it's delicious. They too. they don't make the best Hefeweizen. No, no, I know they don't. Hef, uh, Pyramid Hef is actually, uh, yeah. in my it's opinion, is more. Tasty. In your opinion, it's in my I've opinion, had that too. in my opinion, Paul Anner well, is the best. Well, Paul, yes, it is the best. Yeah. But, but Paul, like the, and, but uh, Wood, Woodmere Bird just makes a really good one. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's do this. Just down this. Thanks for stuff. watching. <laughs> well, I think it tastes the same. A whole bunch yeah. of it over your taste buds at the same time. The the flavor is awesome. So you're gonna give it a. I, Definitely a thumbs up. Thumbs up from Christopher Lee. Jesus Martinez. You know, like I said, I've had this before. This was one, like, I'm not a, too much of a, a, a pale or IPA fan, honestly. Like, I'm not too big fan of hoppy beers. Mm-hmm. But this one, that's, this one. It's only a pale, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then and this one is delicious. I'm, I'm going to say it. I enjoyed it, and I'm going to have to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> No, I'm okay. Okay, anyways. Yeah, um, and the third vote is definitely going to have to be thumbs up. This is a delicious ale. Yeah, it is. Jesus isn't big on the IPAs. I, myself, I was not big on them in the beginning. I didn't really care for them too much, mainly because of the bitter factor. But after getting my taste buds to it, it helped out a lot. Mm-hmm. And tasting this pale is is it is delicious. I had more to say about it, but I'm a little drunk right now and I can't really. <laughs> How many beers did you have? Um, it's been drinking all day. I've been drinking yeah, all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my. But it doesn't. <laughs> this is only my second beer. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't, 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 it doesn't. I still have to say though, even after drinking all day, tasting this pale ale, it is a delicious pale ale. Um, if you've had ones before where you're not a big fan of, try the Widmer Brothers. Because I think your, your, your mind might change about them. Yep. This one is oh. delicious. Oh! Ethan with Snyder's. It helps. It does. It does. It helps. All right. Well, I think it's definitely a thumbs up because it was it tasted so great, mm-hmm. and I think that uh, if 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 you're not sure about what 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 to drink, um, I mean you could try Budweiser's, but it's a little bit lesser of a flavor than this Whitmer Brother is providing. So this is giving you some great carbonation, giving you great flavor. It's not a bad price. And uh, it's a it's a delicious beer. So thumbs up from from give it a shot. And uh, you know I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you um, for bringing the beer over. And you know give it a shot. And we'll see you next time. See ya later. Right. I don't know how that. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, flipping it around backwards is kind of hard. <laughs>